there will be some hesitation uh, from both sides, the customer sides and the uh, supplier side, you know, because there are delays in shipments. Uh, some issues with cash flow because your uh, lead time is going to be a bit longer. So those are the more concerns in the short term. We are waiting to see, you know, what is going to happen. Uh, obviously, the impact on high-value cargo is less because whatever increases have happened will be will not be such a big impact on it as a percentage. But on the lower-value cargoes, it will be a problem. If at all. Uh we aggregate the quantum of exports and imports both together, it comes somewhere close to $30 billion. Our idea is that these 18 countries that uh, would affect India's export and import market, they would also have spillover effect on several commodities. Shipping giant Maersk blamed attacks in the Red Sea for congestion at container terminals. Maersk and other shipping groups have recently diverted vessels away from the area and the Gulf of Aden, which is one of the world's busiest routes. It follows attacks by Yemen's Houthis. The Danish firm has been forced to send containers on a long journey around Africa rather than through the Suez Canal shortcut. Maersk CEO Vincent Clerk said this week the disruption to global shipping caused by the attacks will probably last at least a few months. That isn't the only problem facing the firm. Maersk added that winter storms and the effects of the holiday season have led to terminal closures and navigation stoppages in northern Europe. Container shipping rates for key global trade routes have soared. US and UK airstrikes on Yemen in response to the Houthi attacks have also raised fears of prolonged disruption to global trade traffic in the Red Sea.